a piece to my racially and socially privileged friends. All my life, I've been that Mohiba Indian friend. You know, that one Indian friend who exists as someone from a different race can say, Eh, hey, aku ada apa kawan India? Tu Nisha tu. Power do biam ko. When I speak Bahasa Melayu. Lawa lah you. When I reiterate Malay humor. Wah, tahu eh kau. When I say words like, Alhamdulillah, Inshallah and Bismillah. Jom raya Nisha or buruk mana Nisha or lawan ya sehari Nisha. I nak pakai boleh tak Nisha? For all these years, I've never heard Nisha. Aku serah sangat cikgu tu target kau dan kawan-kawan India kau. Weh, sebenarnya kan, kau lelaki layak dapat scholarship tu. Aku kesian nak tengok kau susah macam ni. Nisha, I'm sorry your people are getting killed in custody and that you feel unsafe in your own country. Aku sedih dah tengok kat parlimen tak ada orang macam kau. Kalau policy making level pun tak ada orang macam kau, apa lagi nak kata untuk satu sektor lain kat Malaysia kan? Weh, sekarang time MCU ni kau okay tak? Dah lah tak boleh shooting. Lepas tu grant, dana semua tu mostly for bumis. Aku sedih tengok kawan-kawan bangsa lain ditindas. Is there anything that I can do to help? So here's the thing. I'm tired of being your racially diverse ticket. Of biting my tongue and trying so hard not to be that Indian and pretending what we have is equal even though it's not. Just so I don't discomfort you, my privileged friend. Being lower middle income, I am burdened with the responsibility that comes with having more than others from vulnerable communities like mine. This because I have the basics not privileged, just basics that they have been so unjustly deprived of. While I have clawed my way up a few social steps, I'm filled with so much guilt for not being able to bring them along with me, knowing that the person down there could have very well been me. I'm conflicted by this every day, especially since we're hardly represented anywhere. All this while dealing with the ignorance of my friends with abundance, pretending there is no disparity between us just to maintain peace and harmony. This is for friends who have not once addressed the injustices and oppression in this country that directly affects me and people like me, who have neither stood in solidarity nor acknowledged their leg up in society. I cannot continue to hold your hand beyond the atmosphere when you are stocked with oxygen tanks and I can hardly breathe, both from the lack of mine and the waft of my decaying people down below. I can't shake the words to be silent is to side with the oppressor. It's really hard for me to excuse you ignoring such huge parts of my identity when I consistently speak about these things in my spaces. I can no longer take you not acknowledging my reality and the realities of so many like me, all while having to be there for you as a friend in the process. So, if you'd still like to be my friend, I implore you to have these difficult conversations with me, or at the very least, Send me a word of acknowledgement to let me know that you've seen this and you stand with me. I also think it's important to mention that there is nothing wrong with privilege and this isn't me attacking you for having it. But as I share this piece, I gently ask you, would privilege still be privilege if everyone had it? Or would it just be basic rights and necessities? Is there really not enough to go around? And is it really so wrong for the accesses that you have to be the accesses that everyone else has to? Are we truly rakyat yang hidup bersatu dan maju without equity? Side note, that Indian that I was so afraid to be? Turns out, I'm a part of them just as they are a part of me. I am my community and if we're still friends, then show us a little bit of empathy and for goodness sake, take accountability.